Have you ever tried to poop through like fishnet? Why? Hey guys, Cruel Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. I'm Eric. And we're here with a movie reaction. This is the Grand Budapest Hotel. Yeah. Uh, this is a movie that we've picked to watch for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yes. Rick has already seen this movie, so he's not here today. Yeah. But I'm super excited. Uh, also, have no idea what this is about, other yeah. than there's a hotel on the screen right now. Yeah. What? Do you know what it is about? I've heard the name. Oh, you've... Okay. So I'm the only one here who has seen it. You have seen Great yeah. Budapest Hotel. Okay, mm -hmm. Kyle will guide us. So... Um, I mean, it's it's one of those movies where mm. you just don't, watch it. Don't need a guide. So you can just... I don't need to guide you. I oh, think okay. I think right. you're capable of guiding yourself. I'll guide you right the fuck over there. Go away, Calvin. No, 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 sorry, you stay, you stay. Here, pick, finish your words. Uh, we want to <laughs> tell you <laughs> that down in the description you can find a link to our full-length reaction to this movie. We're watching this one off of HBO Max. He's right. But if you go down there and you're a raw writer over at patreon.com slash blindwave yes that is the name of the tier Raw, Raw Rider. Rider you can watch the entire movie along with us and uh yeah let's check out the or grand... if they want to be a poll writer <gasps> yeah. you can help us decide movies as well which we do polls yeah. over there too just it's the poll writer tier mm -hmm. so there's poll writers and raw writers yeah what are you saying? oh Calvin has a hair peeking out that's not connected to his hell Huh. Oh, I know that guy. Yeah. From something. Uh, Batman. Uh, I was going to say he was Falcone in Batman Begins. It is an extremely common mistake. Rush hour. People think the writer's imagination is always at work, yeah. that he's constantly inventing an endless Don't supply of <laughs> <Don't know>. <laughs> that he simply dreams up his stories out of thin air. These stories will continue to... Stop it! Stop it! Don't! Don't do it! <laughs> uh, I'll continue to seek you out. Uh, don't do it! Little shit don't, showing up don't do it. with his Nerf gun. I decided to spend the month of August in right. the spa right. town of Nebelsbad below the Alpine Sudetenbach and have taken up rooms in the Grand Budapest. Yeah, that's cool looking too. It's like the models and paintings Paris, looking. Once yeah. widely celebrated establishment. A West Continental known only as Monsieur Jean. Sure oh. oh man, the glorious bastards. Really quite accommodating. Oh. I expect he was not well paid. Oh. In any case, one evening, as I stood conferring elbow to elbow with Monsieur Jean, as I become my head. Is that you, Law? I noticed yes. you yes. Oh shit. Dumbledore, right? Small. That's Mr. Mustafa himself. Mr. You're Mustafa. Right this morning. Mr. Mustafa. This name will no doubt be familiar to the more seasoned persons among you. The curtain rose on a parenthetical domestic drama. Shit. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the little door. Complete attention to Monsieur Jean. He's choking. Save this man. What's the dog doing? He's helping. Give him bourbon. St. Bernard, the heroes. What's the dog doing? I'll pet that dog. In the event of a fire. Pet that dog. Well, he had to turn on the lights and then push a button. May I invite you to dine with me tonight? Hmm. And it will be my pleasure and indeed my privilege to tell you my story. Such as it is. A lot of people telling stories. In stories. Mm -hmm. it's such a tiny glass. It's a tasting glass. Yeah, my dad's glass was that size. He'd have drank less. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> he just maybe just. Yeah. Holy shit! Everyone's in this movie. Yeah. Everyone. We've had Jude Law. I have recognized everyone. So I didn't. I didn't recognize who this was. I didn't see who it was. Well, you don't think Billy Bob Thornton's famous. It's fucking Voldemort, dude. Yeah, it's Voldemort. <laughs> oh, so Voldemort and Dumbledore are in this movie. <laughs> That's two people. Truly and honestly, oh dear God, what have you done to your fingernails? <laughs> this diabolical varnish. The color is completely wrong. I really don't like it. It's not that I don't like it. I am physically repulsed. Perhaps <laughs> <laughs> this will serve you. But what a way to. Just listen to the words. Red, purple. Uh huh. I love. I love you. A pardon. So he's the famous concierge at the hotel. Yes. That makes her feel really good. Okay. Is that quite a thing winning the lottery of a woman like that for nineteen consecutive seasons? 
Yes, sir. She's very fond of me, you know. Yes, sir. I've never seen her like that before. No, sir. She was shaking like a shitting dog. <laughs> Truly. I'm Zero, sir. The new lobby boy. Zero. Zero. Yes, Mustafa. Sir. Every section is so brightly colored. Why do you want to be a lobby boy? Well, who wouldn't? At the Crown Budapest, sir. It's an institution. Very good. I never felt the need to sit in an elevator. What? How high are we going? How slow is the elevator? Yes, so. I just never felt the need. Now we're in a day and age of just bam, you're there. Were you ever a lobby boy, sir? What do you think? Well, I suppose you'd have to start somewhere. I mean, you could have. Oh, go about the golden cat. Yes, sir. <laughs> He's done with him now. Hmm. And so my life began. <clears throat> Dude, these, like, this. They pan everywhere. Boy in training, Grand Budapest Hotel. Rich, old, insecure. Does he bang these old ladies? Ah! Superficial, blonde, needy. Ah! Never asked a question. A guy answered so quickly. Except for Aaron, mm -hmm. that train. I've done that before. I mean, I haven't seen one train in this movie. Six <laughs> you fucking Son idiot! Of a bitch! Yeah. Our meals were small but frequent for stamina. He draws on his mustache. <laughs> his emissary, known as Deputy Kovacs, arrived to review the books and convey messages For a second, to the Jeff Goldblum. mysterious proprietor. On these occasions, Mr. Gustav and our business manager, Herr Becker, met with him in private consultation about reception. I still think it's Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> For a second, you were right, and then, and then you were wrong. And then you were right. wrong, Aaron. <laughs> you, you doubted. Doubt you doubted yourself. I, I do that too often, and I shouldn't do it anymore. <laughs> shouldn't do it. I don't know why. I'm always wrong when I doubt yeah, myself. Yeah, you need to be more confident. Whoa. Really cool. Wow. But we won't discuss that. Mm. Oh, is it like a birthmark or a burn? Looks like it. Birthmark. Madam Skivadu. <laughs> How do you say it? I love the confidence that you found. Found it. What? It's so steep. See the headline? No, I didn't see it. I did not either. I was paying attention to this purple outfit. I was I trying to write down Madam Susan. I'm so happy. Yeah, I have a purple pen. Pencil. I'll give you a color every time we do a reaction. What do you want? Look. Will there be war? Tanks at border. Ah! Oh, dude, I'm dead. I'm terribly sorry. That's the he was good. lady he's banging. He was. She tried to tell me she had a premonition. I didn't listen. All of Lutz were dressed in black. It's he's still wearing the lobby boy outfit. She was dynamite in the sack, by the way. She was 84, I mean, she could start. Mm, I had older. When you're young, it's all fit at stake, but as the years go by, you have to move on to the cheaper cuts. Which is fine with me, because I like those. More flavorful, so they say. Well, I've never heard described that way at all. And there are the... Oh tanks. no, the war! I love the pace of this so far. Wait a minute, sit down, Zero. His papers are in order. I cross reference them myself with the Bureau of Labor and Servitude. You can't arrest him simply because he's a bloody immigrant. He hasn't done anything wrong. Stop it, Ben! Never mind, Mr. Gustav! Let them proceed! Ow! That hurt! Oh. 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 You filthy goddamn pockmark fascist assholes! Take your hands off my lobby boy! Man, broke both their noses. You got the job, kid. <laughs> Jesus, is that Norton? What's the problem? This is outrageous. Everyone's in this movie. The yeah. works for me at the Grand Budapest Hotel in Naples, but your little Albert. I'm terribly embarrassed. Release them. Release them. Yeah, France. Jeez. You see, there are still faint glimmers of civilization left in this barbaric slaughterhouse that was once known as humanity. Indeed, that's what we provide in our own modest, humble, insignificant... Oh, fuck it. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> that was so funny. 
You're looking so well, darling. You really are. They've done a marvellous job. I don't know what sort of cream they've put on you down at the morgue, but I want some. Honestly, you look better than you have in years. You look like you're alive. The subtext. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And a small servant dressed in white jolted into the room. I've never forgotten the look on that man's face. What the devil is going on? Combination with 635 amendments, Jesus. notations, corrections, and letters of wishes executed during the subsequent decades. Jeez. The ultimate legality of this accumulation requires further analysis, but in the opinion of this office, it was Madame D's intention that control of the vast bulk of her estate should be transferred forthwith to her son Dimitri. With special allowances <laughs> for her sisters Marguerite, Laetitia, and Carolina, and minor gifts for various members of the extended family, as shown in the list of recipients, which I will elucidate in due course. Elucidate. I need to use that word. However, more. an additional codicil delivered into my possession by post only this morning, and by all indications sent by Madame D during the last hours of her life, mm -hmm. contains an amendment to the original certificate, which as prescribed by law, I will read to you now. Is that Willem Dafoe? Aunt Willem Dafoe back here. God damn it. Everybody's in this. It's like Smash Bros. My esteemed friend Everyone is here. comforted me in my later years and brought sunshine into the life of an old woman who thought that she would never be happy again. Uh, it's Sir him. Gustav H. I bequeath, bestow, and devise free of all taxation and with full and absolute fiduciary entitlement the painting known as Boy with Apple wow. by Johannes van Heuvel. I can't believe it. The younger. What? Which gave us both so much pleasure. The van Heuvel Who's Gustav H? I'm afraid that's me, darling. <laughs> darling. That fucking faggot is a concierge. What are you doing here? I've come to pay my respects to a great woman whom I loved. This man is an intruder in my home. It's not yours yet, Dimitri. Only when probate is granted and the deed of entitlement is You're given. You're not getting boy with apple, you goddamn little fruit. How's that supposed to make me feel? Call the police. We're pressing charges. This criminal has plagued my family for nearly 20 years. He's a ruthless adventurer and a con artist who preys on mentally feeble, sick old ladies. And he probably fucks them, too. I'd go to bed with all my friends. Oh, jeez. Flowery boy! Jeez! Flowery! <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> Dude, look at those rings. He's. Where's Sydney? He didn't even say anything. Huh? He didn't punch the kid. She's dead. We're reading her will. Oh, yes, yes, of course. If I learn you ever once laid a finger on my mother's body, living or dead, I swear to God, I'll cut your throat. You hear me? I thought I was supposed to be a fucking faggot. You are, but you're bisexual. Let's change the subject. I'm leaving. <laughs> the dialogue is so great. Boy with apple. How did she die? Old. Oh, you know, yeah, but... I mean, I just, like, it was like, hours before she died that she did this? Like, doesn't that kind of imply that he might have something to do with it? That he might? Yeah. Man. You don't find it suspicious that, like, hours before she died, she sent this letter? It's a masterpiece. The rest of this shit. Is he gonna take it? It's yours. Sir. He's anticipating <laughs> his needs. Before he knows. Yeah. What if behind it is a secret safe? Nope. Put another painting up there? Is that what we're gonna do? <laughs> what? What was that? A what? replacement. <laughs> Art, Aaron. I love it though. It's great. I just find it so funny. Oh, what was that? I'll die with this picture above my bed. See the resemblance? I love oh, that. Oh, yes. That's fun to have that little mirror there. It is. The only reason that mirror's there. <laughs> In exchange for your help, your loyalty, and your services as my personal valet, I pledge to you 1.5% of the net sales price. 1.5? Plus room and board. I mean, if it's Could priceless. It Ten? You're joking? That's more than I pay an actual dealer. 
And you wouldn't know Chiara Skiro from Chicken Giblets. No, Giblet. one point five is correct, but I tell you what, if I die first, and I most certainly will, you will be my sole heir. Mm. There's not much in the kitty except a set of ivory-backed hairbrushes and my library of romantic poetry, but when the time comes, these will be yours, along with whatever we haven't already spent on horns and whiskey. <laughs> this is our sacred bond. I'll draw it up right now. If I die first, which I'm sure I will. I'm I'll draw it up. Sir. Yeah. The police are here. They asked for you. Tell them I'll be right there. <laughs> the hesitation is so good. <laughs> Have you ever been questioned by the authorities? Yes, on the occasion of the Inspector Hancock. By order of the Commissioner of Police of Broken Province, I hereby place you under arrest for the murder of Madame Celine Villeneuve de Goffman Taxis. I knew there was something fishy. We never got the cause of death. She's been murdered. And you think I did it. <laughs> <laughs> why why he start running? Dude, this set's amazing. It's really good. I'm, I'm assuming it's just a real place, but... <laughs> it was so slow. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, that's so good. So good. What happened? What happened, my dear Zero, is I beat the living shit out of a sniveling little runt called Pinky Bandinsky who had the gall to question my virility. Because if there's one thing we've learned from Penny Dreadfuls is that when you find yourself in a place like this, you must never be a candy ass. You've got to prove yourself from day one. You've got to win their respect. Huh. You should take a long look at his ugly mug this morning. He's actually become a dear friend. You'll meet him, I hope. <laughs> You'll meet him. So, if he shows up. Yes, sir. Tell him Jopling says, come home. My dear and trusted colleagues, I miss you deeply as I write from the confines <laughs> of my regrettable and preposterous incarceration. Take extra special care of every little bitty bit of it as if I were watching over you like a hawk with a horsewhip in its talons because I am. Should I discover a lapse in any variety during my absence, I promise swift and merciless justice will descend upon you. <laughs> a great and noble house has been placed under your protection. Tell Zero if you see any funny business. Your devoted, Mr. Gustav. Then there's a poem, but we might want to go ahead and start in the soup since it's 46 stanzas. Jesus. A moist black ash dampens the filth of a dumb dark rat's nest and mingles with the thick scent of wood rot while the lark song of a gutter snipe I never trust him. Okay. Mendel's again. Precisely. Who's got the throat slitter? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> On our third formal rendezvous, I had asked for her hand in marriage, and she had agreed. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. We did not okay. have 50 clubbacks between the two of us. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> there are people behind him. We were each completely on our own in the world. For my dearest, darling, treasured, cherished Agatha, whom I worship, with respect, adoration, admiration, kisses, gratitude, best wishes, and love, from Z to A. Hmm. Agatha and Zero, okay. Not only was Agatha immensely skilled with a palette knife and a buttercream flourish. Oh, wow. She was also very brave. I believe she was born that way. <laughs> Well, they're so pretty. Had its own knife to chop the sausage with. Sausage. But, especially given the circumstances of the death, as well as the disappearance of the key witness in the murder case, Sarah Shatz, <laughs> I suggest that we leave the brain's back, wrap it up, and don't make waves. Agree? I'm an attorney, Dimitri. I'm obligated to proceed according to the rule of law. Not agreed. Not agreed. <laughs> Dang. I want to be like, not agreed? <laughs> <laughs> Just continue the scene back and forth. Did I just throw my cat out the window? It was his cat! I don't think so. Did you? No, get the kitty! 
Oh, fuck! Damn, this is the tiniest of hammers. That guy just never wears a shirt. There's, there's so little. And they're it's like the so ineffective. Yeah. The tiniest of hammers. Ding, 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 rather than tap, 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 tap. There's something on the toilet. Hide this. It's in code, and you might need a magnifying glass to read it, but it tells you exactly where and how to find boy with apple. I said it wrong. Go to sleep. Yes, sir, Mandy. Hide this. No. Okay, but take it anyway. Hmm. Was that, was that his cat? Yeah. So he's two ways cat. He's got other things to worry <laughs> he's about. He's such right a now. subtle tail. <laughs> yeah, he's got more movement now in his walk. He was walking before. <laughs> this is 14 minutes. Yeah, he's walking before. Some guy like... walked up and moved that to four. <laughs> he walked like Eugene from The Walking Dead. That's yeah. how he was walking at first. Where he just kind of like. Arms don't move. Whoa. Oh, that shot was cool. With the glasses. Glasses. Look at this place. I love this armor place. <sighs> I thought it was gonna be him. Oh. You have to show the door to cut off all those fingers. How hard would he have to close the door to cut off four carrots? <whistles> Still carrying his boots. The next morning. Let's blow. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. goes down there. <laughs> it was so long. God, God, no. Is that the guy with the scar? Who got good mush? I just love it. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have to go through here? Look at him. Go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Oh my gosh. Lucky bars? Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love how they all finish at the exact same time. They're all in their own like little spots. Yeah. It just seems so ineffective, just like... Yeah. <laughs> that is a very long wall, right? It's made of, like, wrenches and shit. Uh-huh. Bedwin. Oh, my Whoa! gosh. Oh my god! Work. That was great. Pinky was great. <laughs> he just took his throat slitter and went. Yeah. Good evening. Was that Pinky, the little guy yeah. that died? Oh man. I'll never get to meet him. Let me introduce you, Pinky Wolf Ludwig. Oh, this is there's Pinky. Oh. Damn it, Calvin. Who's the other guy? My bad. Well, well, who knows when we'll all meet again, but if one day... Oh. Take care of yourself, Mr. Gustav. Good luck, kid. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't earned the respect, huh? I guess. 
What on God's earth possessed you to leave the homeland when you very obviously belonged and travel unspeakable distances to become a penniless immigrant in a refined, highly cultivated society that, quite frankly, could have gotten along very well without you? The war. Say again. Well, you see, my father was murdered, and the rest of my family were executed by firing squad. Their village was burned to the ground, and those who managed to survive were forced to flee. I left because of the war. I see. So you're, you're actually really more of a refugee in that sense? Truly. Well, I suppose I'd better take back everything I just said. What a bloody idiot I am. Aww. A bloody fool. Goddamn selfish bastard. This is disgraceful, and it's beneath the standards of the Grand Budapest. <laughs> He's still representing. I apologize on behalf of the hotel. It's not your fault, Mr. Gustav. You were just upset I forgot to Don't make you. excuses to me. I owe you my life. So sincere. You are my dear friend and protege, and I'm very proud of you. We're brothers. It was first light when I saw her face upon the heath. And hence did I return day by day in trance. Though vinegar did brine my heart. Never we should get moving! I'm going to stop you there because the alarm has sounded. But remember when we left off because I insist you finish later. They waited so long. Those other guys are gone. Yeah. It's like the Simpsons. Uh-oh. I want roadblocks at every junction for 50 kilometers. Who are you? Oh my god, why are, are you, you here? Civilian personnel aren't permitted in the cell block. This is a military investigation. This is Mr. Jopling, sir. His employer's mother was one of the victims of- Shut the... up. His body was found stuffed in a sarcophagus behind a storage room in the Kunst Museum late last night. He was short four fingers. <laughs> what are you about? <laughs> Escort Mr. Jopling off the premises. <laughs> that was so good. That pan down to the finger fence. <laughs> Mendels. Oh. Mendels. Doesn't it say it on the other side of the box? Yeah. Yeah, but he, he gets the credit for tasting. I'm formally calling upon the special services of the Society of Frost Keys. Okay. I'll call you back, Gustav. Right. Stand by. Ha! Ah! Ah, what? I beg your pardon. Do you prefer to walk? We're right here. It's very simple. Straight down the Cornish, then left. Jojo, see the gentleman out. Get me Mr. George at the Chateau Max, please. Happy birthday to you. Take on. Little <laughs> song. Got it. Do you know what the Palazzo Principessa, please? Higher, goddammit, higher! Concierge Avengers. This is yours. Higher! I see. Straight away. Give me Monsieur Robin at Hotel Court du Cap, please. The beacons! The beacons are lit! And two and three. Take over. Take over. <laughs> Compressions! Yes, Dino. Yes, I Dino. love this actor. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I know him, but I can't say from where. Psych? Get me Monsieur Martin at the Ritz Imperial. No. Let me make a few calls. That's John Hammond's, uh, like, nephew from Jurassic Park 2. <laughs> the plot thickens, as they say. Why, by the way? Is it a soup metaphor? No. Why does the plot think it? Get in! <laughs> ah, now we're we found everything we drive. I love that shot. Hiding out the remote foothills near Gable Meister's team. Here's your tickets. Oh, third class. It was overbooked, but the conductor used to be a sommelier at the old Versailles. Hmm. Pull some strings. You'll need these for the dining car. <laughs> One last thing. Lead banana. Yes. Travel sacks. They only had the half ounce. That's Me? the breakfast. 
We should give him something as a symbolic gesture. How much money you got? Bless you. Please. <laughs> They've just now noticed it took so long. Look at the, the clean area. What's the meaning of this shit? Boy with Apple, I thought you did me. I don't do so now. Are you fucking kidding me? Excuse me. It was for the tax appraisal, huh? No! Destroy this message, all my love, full stop. Where's the basket? And then he has the telegram. It's either Mandarin. It's got ten rings. Or eight, I guess you said. Whoa. Big fluid. You want one? That's neat. Mm-hmm. I don't know what I would keep in mind. Get on the next cable car. Hmm. Side scroller video game. It looks like I love a that. miniature. Yeah, yeah. Like it, it, is. Just, it doesn't look real, you know. Like it's. Is there an intersection? Okay, we're gonna meet with someone here. I am Mr. Gustav of the Great Budapest Hotel in Naples Park. Switch with me. Switch. Oh my gosh, you gotta jump between them? It's not too far. Okay. Still terrifying. Oh yeah. I like how it like you transition from that to them running out. Yeah. He still has the hats. <laughs> you like kept looking at him. Are you Mr. Gustav of the Yes, Christ? damn it. Confess. I'm innocent. Hmm? No, no. I'm innocent. <laughs> Confess. Forgive me, Mr. Gustav. I never meant to betray you. They threatened my life, and now they murdered my only family. No. Who'd they kill this time? My dear sister. The girl with the club foot? Yes. Those fuckers. <laughs> I tried to warn you at the beginning. I know, darling. Let's put that behind us. I pulled a copy. A second copy of the second will? Right. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, what does it say? Where is it? What's it all about, Dan? Don't keep us in suspense, sir. This has been a complete fucking nightmare. Just tell us what the fuck is going on! <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> Just the way he like. Oh, oh so no. good. Did what's his name show up? Oh, Son of a oh, bitch. He has it. Skis. Wow. <laughs> so. Oh fast. my gosh. He looked like he was trying to run away from the Yeti in the Microsoft game. Come on, let's go! Bobsled! <laughs> no way! <laughs> Look, they're catching him! What do we do if we catch him? I don't know! He, he's almost on the psychopath! Let's stop! I can't! I can barely steer! Uh oh. Jeez, they're going so fast. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's going so fast! <laughs> oh no! Wow, great! Because they're at the same kid. It's, it's so funny, the, the physics. <laughs> yeah. It's that, still that like. Now we're bobsledding! It's still like that miniature stop motion. It is, yeah. He got up right before they they went, right? Yep. You sick pathetic creep. I hate you. The 
If this to be the end, farewell, cried the wounded piper boy. Whilst the muskets cracked and the yeoman roared hurrah and the ramparts fell. Methinks me breathes me last, me fears, said he. Damn! <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, you got him! <laughs> that watching? was great! <laughs> Uh, is this the uh, military guy? Goodbye, Serge. Okay, let's go. Yeah, go. Oh, so respectful. You'd be yeah. so cold. I love that he's the valet, so yeah. he does all the driving. <laughs> the second copy of the second will. Inside the painting. The war began wow. at midnight. Compliments of Herr Mendel for the executive staff. And you. General Stieglitz requests a garden view sitting room with an extra roll away. Let's put him in the Duke Leopold suite. Secretary Von oh, Gatsby's office cable. Why is he here? Checking in a day early at rooms 401 2 3. Told tactical logistics we're moving into a standard double on the third floor. Gonna need more space than that. Ping pong table. Left 34. The beginning right. of the end. Of the end of the beginning. Look at that little tiny truck. It has leather hinges. Little pink truck. Mm. <laughs> the zoom in there. Of course. He's <coughs> zigzag. Excuse me. Run. Run, Agatha. <laughs> Great. Compliments of Herr Mendel. <laughs> Worked the first time. Oh, it's so funny. Did he see the cameraman or did he see... Why did you let him... Why didn't you slap it? Six floor. Right, as soon as you cross the corner, yeah. Exactly what you do. <laughs> the whip pants. So good. Everything whip pants. Everyone comes out hey, to guy. shoot at each other. <laughs> Who are we shooting? Everyone! Everyone is shooting at everyone! More, Aaron. It's confusing times! No one's hitting anybody! Fire! 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 Oh, stop it! <laughs> Who's shooting who? That's Gustav H, the escaped murderer and art thief of Adam Corner. That's Dimitri Degoff from Taxis. He's responsible for the killing of Deputy Kovac, Sir Dex, and his club for his sister plus his own mother. Nobody moved. Everybody's under arrest. Who's on the window? Oh no. Agatha. No! No one moved! Oh my gosh! Oh, the cat fuck! Hang on, here it comes! Why are they shooting? He's gonna knock. Bust it open. Uh, oh. Oh my god. No! <laughs> so what is funny? Oh my god. I got that little big truck. Are you alright? I think so. You got handcuffs. She left everything to Mr. Gustav, of course. The mansion, known as Schloss Lutz. The factories, which produced weapons and cement textiles. 
<laughs> Charming the jury. An important newspaper syndicate. And perhaps you've already deduced this very institution, the Grand Budapest Hotel. Mm. He anointed me his successor. Is that he's the... And as the war continued, I served my adopted country from the narrow desk still his found heir, against right? the wall in the next room. Mm-hmm. His solar. heir. He was the same as his disciples. Insecure, vain, That's how a lot of blonde, blonde older ladies. Easy. In the end, he was even rich. He did not succeed, however, in growing old. Aw. Uh, he died really young. Hey, you're the murder here. Yeah, Nor did my darling Agatha. She and her infant son would be killed two years later by the Prussian grip, an absurd little disease. Mm -hmm. Today we treat it in a single week, but in those days, many millions died. <sighs> so that's where she went, okay. On the 21st day of the occupation, the morning the independent state of Zubrovka officially ceased to exist, we traveled with Mr. Gustav to Lutz. In answer to your earlier question, by the way, of course. Zero asked me about my humble beginnings in the hotel trade. I was perhaps yeah. for a time considered the best lobby boy we'd ever had at the Grand Budapest. I think I can say that. This one finally surpassed me, although I must say he had an exceptional teacher. True. So he has a crossed keys pin. Whence came these two radiant celestial brothers united for an instant as they crossed the stratosphere of our starry window? One from the east and one from the west. Very good. Don't flirt with her. <laughs> Why are we stopping at a barley field again? Oh my gosh, now what's going on? I find these black uniforms very drab. Well, hello there, chaps. We were just talking about you. Documents, please. With pleasure, as always. <sighs> I give you my word, if you lay a finger on this man, I'll see you dishonorably discharged, locked up in the stockade, and hanged by sundown. There are still faint glimmers of civilization left in this barbaric slaughterhouse that was once known as humanity. Oh! You filthy goddamn put my dress in that house! He was one of them. Man. What more is there to say? What happened in the end? In the end, they shot him. So it all went to me. After dinner, we went to collect the keys to our rooms, but Monsieur Jean had abandoned his post. I expect he's forgotten all about us. In recent years, at price for such properties good. and holdings as the Grand Budapest had, with very few exceptions, become common property. While the precise terms of his negotiation with the new government had never been announced, the result was an open secret. Zero Mustafa had traded a great and important fortune in exchange for one costly, unprofitable, doomed hotel. Why? Was it merely sentimental? It was quite forward of me and a bit out of character, but I felt I must know. For my health, I suppose. The hotel I keep for Agatha. Hmm. We were happy here. For a little while. To be frank, I think his world had vanished long before he ever entered it. But I will say, he certainly sustained the illusion with a marvelous grace. Are you going up? No, I'll sit for a little while. Good night. It was an enchanting old ruin. But I never managed to see it again. Hmm. He's just reading his book. Look at the aspect ratio now. Mm-hmm. Wow. Is there an epilogue? So what did you guys think? I loved it. Very. I loved it. 
for its. I had no idea. Was, I had no idea what it was gonna be. Yeah. I, I, story and a story and a story and so story. much stuff in it that I'm just like, what the hell is yeah. going on? All this. This is very classic Wes Anderson, kind of mm-hmm. like disjointed feeling, but overall arcing, like yeah. theme. I like the camera work for. a lot in it. Mm-hmm. Camera work. I mean, yeah, it's. Uh, it's and like got the, a character to it. The yeah. models to like live action yeah. the transitioning things that it does and stuff is very interesting. Yeah. I Especially like with I was just trying to think like I, I wonder if it's what they're going for but he's telling it's like it seems like everybody that is telling the story or reading the story or whatever is embellishing it with things in their surroundings like at the dinner table Behind them is a giant painting, and that painting style looks like the style of, like the mountain climbing thing and stuff. Like I wonder if that, like, there's a any type of effort put into like making it seem like the colors and the and the style of in which things are being shown is being informed by the person telling the story, like what's around them. I don't know. What's around them? Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. I I I, I like the idea that. This is a story being told like inside of like a little like dollhouse is what it kind of feels like to me, right? Sure. It's like, very especially with the camera work yeah. and stuff like that, it makes it very whimsical. It, for some reason it, it feels like, like yeah, it feels like everything is shrunk down in scale mm-hmm. and then shown. I don't know. I, maybe it's just like And you get the yeah. camera really close that way. Yeah. Like the little dolls look. Bigger. It's also the aspect ratio changing and stuff like that, mm-hmm. and how it just affects the way that you you see the scope of something. But there was something about it that made me feel like someone is telling a story and using things around them to tell it. I don't know. Sure. Hmm. Really liked it. I, I love the miniature. I, I, I might just be great. reading that into that, but yeah. What about you, Aaron. You said like you had no idea where I feel it was like I'm going trying to or what it was think about. more about what it was and what the woman at the end with the book and stuff like the author they're hanging keys on it right so that must be related yeah. to like the society of the cross keys yeah. or something I and would imagine had, right like I'm just died. trying to like figure out more ties to things to fully yeah. like grasp what's going on mm-hmm. with a lot of it because mm-hmm. uh, like there's a crazy story but I'm, I'm, I'm looking for like a, if there's like a bigger picture mm-hmm. meaning. To all of it, rather than the, the story that we get, you know, yeah. is the is the book a real book? Does anyone know? know? No idea. Um, or is it like a fake book for a movie? Yeah. They you said know inspired mean? by something. Did it say inspired by a? Yeah, inspired by the writings of Stefan Zweig. Okay. I don't know. I, I mean, I like the framing of like someone is telling a story of a story of a story of a story. It was cool, like the. I should say someone is reading a story from a story they heard. Yeah. From a. It's a retelling yeah. of a retelling of a telling of a story. Yeah, because like the the. That was incredibly loud. It's so loud. <laughs> it's so loud. Go away. But yeah, I mean, the the story being told from the perspective of uh, of uh, what Mustafa, right? Mm-hmm. Zero. But yeah. but the author of the book has heard it from Mustafa. He was then a young the story author, of and then this yeah event, and because he never made it there, mm-hmm. I was a little confused on. I guess the very beginning, I wasn't sure if it's just the idea of like, here's a prologue. And I'm talking to the reader. Yeah. Because it was like someone was filming him. And he's like, don't you do it! And yeah. like, you interrupt him, like, is that part of the book? <laughs> you yeah. know, it's like, yeah. there's a few elements like that. Like, I like the comedy of some of these elements and stuff, too. But it's, I guess it's the, the idea of, like, the the meta versus, like, what's in yeah, the book or what they're good, going for or whatnot, you know? It's like, a good story will out. Like, you'll, you know, it'll be passed on until, you know, even when the people are gone. Like a good story sure. will still stick around. A good story a, will be remembered. It's just a great, it's just than, a great yeah. well-crafted story. It has amazing dialogue. It has amazing chemistry. It's really like a, I don't know. I don't really. There's really nothing like it that I've seen before in terms of like its pace and dialogue mashup. It's it feels like a very fast-paced yeah. movie at some points, but then it feels like a very dramatic. Yeah. 
dialogue. Like it truly feels like, like an like artistic a, piece. It truly feels like a storybook. Yeah. Mm. Like you have one page over here mm -hmm. of like dialogue and stuff yeah. like that, and then you have a full page piece of yeah. art. Because even that you can just stare at like, like oh, cool. the way things are shot, the way things are comp like the composition, the way things look, even the 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 pans are like pages. Yeah, you're flipping a book. It's kind. Of, I think that's what they're going for. Hmm. Well, they have the chapters. Yeah, of, of I and mean, they have the chapters, but I like the chapters. Stuff. Like it really it's feels like you're you're, you're changing pages whenever you just. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Yeah. Very cool, and it's very rhythmic too. too. Mm -hmm. Like the uh, the curtain as they were looking out of yeah. that lure and the shh, 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 shh. Yeah, <laughs> I like the rhythm to the movie. Mm -hmm. I think. I didn't. I don't. I didn't get like pans or pages or any of that. But I like the camera work doing that because I feel like, especially nowadays, there's a lot more cutting mm -hmm. that occurs, and you don't have like cameras showing you things. And especially if they're in like a real set. Yeah. I mean, some of it could have been like pan cuts. You know, sure. to kind of cover some of that and whatnot, but like, especially the timing of things, yeah. When uh, like they they drive in and then they go up and then they come in here, like yeah. You could easily just you know find a cut in there to do the timing pretty well. Mm -hmm. But like, uh, I don't know. I like when he was. I don't know how long it's gonna go. It's gonna go on for another thirty. 40 seconds. Go, go to the window. Hmm. Uh, there was some fantastic comedy. I think my favorite joke is the fingerprint. <laughs> one, where you had the fingerprints here and then you only had the one here. <laughs> he was missing four fingers. Yeah, yeah that was such only a... had his oh, thumb. Man. There were a lot of actors in this, too. There were. Like, Holy they shit, weren't necessarily was. like big roles for a lot of them, but it was just like, oh, I know that face. Oh, Owen Wilson face. was in there for like three scenes. Yeah. Well, yeah. Bill Murray was in there for two. Yeah. He answered the phone and he was in the car. Yeah, but you expect Bill Murray to be like little cameo bit parts and stuff. I guess. That is his thing. Nowadays. Yeah. But, yeah. So many big names. Um, it definitely draws parallels between, like, you know, the, the zigzag division isn't real. It's definitely paralleling, like, the SS. And, yeah. You know. Well, I was looking at that and I'm like, the, the line there, I'm like, that looks like SS. But I'm like... What's all this shit? Is this something else I don't know? Is this yeah. real fake? I don't know, I don't know what these, these symbols are. So, but yeah, whenever I just saw, like, lying, I was mm -hmm. like, like an SS symbol. And Gustav is just such a fantastic character. I love that. I think Flash Thompson did a good job with being, uh... Oh, yeah, he did. Zero. M M yeah, Mustafa. Really good. Him and, uh, what's the guy's name? That actor who plays Ralph. Walmart? Ralph. Ralph. Is it Ralph? Rafe, Rafe. It's, it's, it's in the way of saying it. How do you say his name? I think it's just Fines. Ralph, Fines. Ralph Fines? I, I believe so. I haven't heard any other pronunciation of it. Maybe I'm thinking of Rayshagul. Maybe. <sighs> Raj. Raj. Ross. 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 Rays. I don't know. But I like their chemistry between uh, Voldemort and Flash Thompson. Yeah, like they just—I don't know. There was a rhythm between them two and the way they performed Rafe stuff. Rafe Fines. Rafe Fines. Rafe. Okay. Rafe Fines. Ray Fines. Yep. Wait a minute. How'd you spell it? It looks like Ralph, but I believe it's pronounced. Rafe Fines. Rafe. Huh. I know. Is there an L in there? Yeah. What? Well, what's the? Rafe Fines. Hold on. Let me get it again. Rafe Fines. Ray Fines. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have more? I really liked when uh, the Gust Gustav guy, like, they came down, like, you're under arrest. Oh, well. He's like, he's yeah. still running. <laughs> and the camera just stayed yeah, there stayed. and watched him run away. Yeah. And then all the cops, like, took off after him. Yeah. And yeah. it just, it was, like, so slow. It was. Like, the, it wasn't like it was super sped up. There's, but it was kinda, there's a humor to it. Yeah, there's and, a like, lot of moments of hesitation. It's the comedy of the slowness. Like, pregnant pauses, points. yeah. And then the comedy later on of the way over sped chase scene down the mountain. Oh, my skis. gosh. That was a... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was like, hey, we really, really, yeah. we really want to have this ski chase scene. It's like, okay, well, you only got five minutes left of your movie, so you yeah. got to hurry up. It's like, okay, well, we're still going to do it, though. <laughs> and you only have this much money. <laughs> and it's like, okay, well, we'll do that. We'll take this one scene where there's, like, two roads, and we'll send them to the right. And then we'll flip that scene and send them to the left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, no, there's, there's some of that stuff I, I, I just really liked. And, like, the, the 
Ding, 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 ding. Oh my gosh. The tiny, tiny hammers. It's and so little. Chisels. It's just so, like, I don't know. It's well, so storybookish. And, and the guy being like, okay, next one. Okay, next one. Oh, they're pretty. Yeah. Next one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it wasn't like it was just a loaf of bread. It was like, they're decorated, and there's something. I don't want to destroy yeah. art, you know? Sure. If I go back to prison, can you guys send me sausages? No, they x ray shit now. Just, but we no, can still. He, no, he I just, just want sausage. sausage. I don't no, want stuff in we it. We can't. Dude, they would find it. Find no, what? I don't want. I just want sausage. You can't do it. Stuffed sausage. All right. Try to choke a guard out with sausage links, no, like in the cartoons. Waste sausage. Huh? No, waste sausage. Well, you eat it afterwards. <laughs> After you choke it. <laughs> yeah. I really like when they visited prison. He's like, you know, I had to beat up, you know, the guy. Anyway, he's a very dear friend. <laughs> he's so become funny. a very dear friend. Well, yeah, he's just so such a charming character. Yeah. And when they almost got out, like, all right, sweet. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, guy, ah, yeah, he like he pulled out a knife and went he <laughs> it and went like, down in and killed those five guards. Yeah, for the boys. Yeah, Ugh, died right at the end. Yeah, that the cat. Yeah, there were so many moments too where I'm just like, I, sometimes I'm like, I don't. What am I watching? Just <laughs> like, what is this? It's so bizarre. I threw my cat out the window. How bizarre. How bizarre. Yeah, no, it was just a it was a fun experience. I probably you know. It would be a rewashable movie, I think. That's for, one of the things. Is like for I, its style. Yeah. Like that, it, I wonder if I would notice things. Like, I didn't think about the keys and the statue and stuff, but also, like, author? Or does, did it say hero, too? Am I imagining hero or just author? Um, it said author plaque right underneath the bust, but mm-hmm. then down below it was, like, our national, national treasure. National treasure. National treasure, that's what it yeah. was. Yeah, that was just... I was, I was just trying to think about that and what that meant for the... You go to that, you go to the book, and you go to the author, and you go to the young author, and then he hears a story. Well, he said, like, it was a, just like a, there was a long, lot of information yeah, that was like being. That, you know, especially with the keys that are being put on his monument, right? Mm-hmm. Like, they're he, like he, hotel He, he writes, keys. like, I think that the world that he inhabited, like, didn't even exist by the time he entered it or whatever. Mm-hmm. But maybe in this, with these writings and having these stories get out. Like that's kind of come back a bit. Sure. Well, and the idea of like society. The, the concierge and the lobby boy and stuff, where it's like you need to figure out what you want to need before they need it and anticipate their mm-hmm. wants and you know solve problems yeah. ahead of time to the point where it's like mush, you know, doing yeah. that and like, like guards, guards, and that big guy who's like this mush pretty good, you know, like yeah. kills a guy. It's like, yeah. but yeah. he doesn't get to go. But he's I was like, like yeah, right I before it happens, like oh man, you snitch. They get stick and they just killed him. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> So whenever they got back to the uh, the one house, and that one girl's like, it was this person. I thought it would be hilarious if that guy just came out and just killed her again. It's like, you were in prison. Gosh. <laughs> Talking about the maid? Yeah. <laughs> she snitched. Uh, I wonder who killed the woman. Like, we um, never got that answer. Uh, right? I mean, Hinkle's dead, right? Who? Hinkle's. Who's Hinkle's? He's uh, uh, Willem Dafoe. Willem Dafoe killed her? Yeah, because they said, like, go and question her uh, and be persuasive this time, and he had his hand on the table, and it had the rings, right? So he was being told to go question her, and he ended up killing her. No, he was que- that right? was questioning Serge's sister. Yeah. The one with the cobble leg that got the head in the thing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that was Hinkle's, wasn't it? That, yes, yeah. that but was. He's I mean, the old lady. The the. Oh. The Dowager the Countess. Old, who poisoned oh. her with uh, sick of fine? I assumed it was... Or shitty fan. Was it like, well, yeah, was it one of yeah. them? I'm, like I'm guessing it, it was the same guy, but on yeah. Adrian Brody's. Uh, what's his name? Shit. Dimit- Dimitri. Dimitri. It doesn't matter right I now. I can't believe that it's happened again. How? I can. What is going on out there? When it happens again. once, it's more what? likely to happen again. Stick your head out. I want to see this person. What person? No I need answer. Answer. It's no not a person. It's a car. It's, it's probably times. some person. Four times counting the other person. What's causing it, though? It's probably a, a kid. A kid? A, someone who's like, here. Look like a baby. Keys. She's in school. It's 2.30. No, babies don't go to school, Eric. And it's Why summer. Why is there a baby on the street, it's Aaron? It's summer break. I think. No one's on the street. No one is. They're in a place. Thank you for watching this reaction to the Grand Budapest Hotel. As we said before in our intro, you can go to patreon.com slash blindwave. And as a poll writer, you can choose what videos we react to, just like this one. So make sure you go on over to there. Also, subscribe. Ah, oh, perfumed. Panache.